Welcome back to Head Full of Air Studio Updates. Um, I'm Matthew, and uh, it's been a while. Sorry that you haven't heard from me. What's been up? Well, I had a bunch of goals to accomplish. Back in May, when I was trying to produce a full-size air pup, I laid all these beautiful patterns out on my living room floor to check up on them. And uh, over two days, I was leaning over these patterns trying to make sure I had everything aligned and I threw my back out and I fell on the floor. Luckily I didn't fall on any of these patterns. I managed to end up like a dead bug, legs in the air, somewhere off to the side. And uh, it's been, my back's been a mess ever since. I haven't been able to sew. I've uh, been on my back a lot and um, I made some progress, I'm going to talk a little bit about that, but in the process, repeatedly injured my back, um, and I've been trying to be a little smarter about it, I've been doing a lot of PT and exercise, things are better, and uh, I'm trying to get back to production. Let's talk about some of the progress I have made. I laid out these patterns at Control H decided, hey, working on the floor wasn't great. I just spent two weeks on my back. Um, and I was able to figure out where to put all the mounting points on uh, these, new these new balloon envelopes that um, have a refined nose. So I made a couple things for that, including this alignment widget. So it shows where the different patches belong. So I could use that to align the patterns and draw quickly where I'm going to attach the fins of Air Pup to the balloon part of Air Pup. This was one of the places where I re-injured my back again though, so that's why you didn't hear from me afterwards. Um, I also, yeah, I used a little light board to transfer some of that stuff. I also made a bunch of winders. These are cool. So I shipped out winders to everybody who just ordered them and uh, I illustrated some instructions on how you release string and wind string back on. I made those into a nice little package, a little tag attached to the winders, wound them up and shipped them out with these gloves, which I like, which are a goatskin glove with a Kevlar lining. So, yeah, about the same time I threw out my back, um, I also learned that Blimpworks was closing along with losing Tracy Barnes, who'd founded Blimpworks, and we're also going to lose his company, which is disappointing. Luckily, a lot of the people at Blimpworks are moving over to Arizona Balloon Works, and um, so those of us who are making balloons in the United States still have some options. Danny Hogan from Blimpworks, he mailed me the patterns that they'd been using for AirPub. Um, so I have all their production patterns. I have 16 AirPup envelopes right now from Blimpworks, but until I scan and transfer patterns to Arizona Balloon Works and verify that they're doing it right, I can't take any new pre-orders. So this week I'm hoping to get back into it. Uh, I'm not setting any hard goals for myself for sewing just because I really want to make sure that I don't end up back where I was. Um, so. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to have more to report soon. I appreciate your support, especially to everybody who reached out to me uh, to email me about um, my health problems, to offer me exercises, to offer me words of support. Uh, that meant a lot to me, so uh, thank you, and uh, yeah, you'll hear from me again soon.